bollocks. <laughs> you all know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's like oh, bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, th I was gonna say ball sack. Yeah, so, yeah <laughs> it is. Yeah. Is it ball sack? Yeah. Language is a funny thing. Some words just cannot be translated. And when you try to explain them to your foreign friends, something is always lost in translation. And it's usually pretty funny. We're Alex and Marco, and you're watching Bagger Brothers, your go-to guide for travel tips, vlogs, and inspiration here on YouTube. Now, we've traveled quite a lot, and we've encountered more than our fair share of untranslatable words, from Chinese to French and Arabic plus everything in between. To get to the bottom of this, we assembled some of our favorite YouTubers from around the world and put them in one room, forcing them to explain the unexplainable. So if you have not already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to Vagger Brothers, and turn on notifications if you've not already, and get ready to laugh. You're watching Vagger Brothers, and this is YouTubers translating untranslatable words. It's been said that Brits and Americans are two cultures separated by a common language. The same could be said about our neighbors up north. Took. Oh, I know what that is. Took. Yeah, let them let them guess. Is it a bit of skin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the, the you know the bit in between. <laughs> Don't touch Look it. at my toque. Look what's like. <laughs> All right, boys, my toque. <laughs> no, it's a hat, like a beanie. Yeah, it's a beanie. Like, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a real word. That's a toque. That's a nice toque. That's a nice toque. It's a hat. No, it's a nice toque. This is a hat. That's a beanie. This is a hat. And now for a word that's about as common as hello in West LA. Namaste. Uh, so, namaste. Namaste. Namaste is welcome, like. Is namaste welcome, or is namaste hello, or is namaste like? Uh, it's, it's actually hello. You know, it's, it's not welcome. Why do they say namaste at the end of yoga classes in the United States? See, that's the uh, thing to sell yoga. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't mean anything. I don't think it. But we, we don't say namaste yeah. at the end of yoga sessions in India, though. And now a word for all you image-conscious intellectuals out there, always trying to prove how smart you are and how many books you've read. Sindoku means I want to read this book and put uh, many books on the table, but. I did not read it. <laughs> That's exactly what yes, he does. It's me. I have many books on my table. Mm -hmm. I've never read it. Yeah. <clears throat> Marco. Fuck you. <laughs> then there's our friends over in Germany who have precise words for the most bizarre situation. Kummerspeck. Oh! What is it? Speck? Kummerspeck. Kummerspeck. When you're sad and you eat a lot, then you... You get fat. Kummerspeck. Yeah, because you like sit on the couch crying and eating chocolate all the time. So okay. it's like Bridget Jones. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Schadenfreude. How do you say it? Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude is if you are happy about someone else's misery, something that is very German. Apparently. <laughs> Frustfressen is what, what you do. Before you have too much back, you're frustrated by something and start eating to compensate. You got an F on a test. Yeah, that's <laughs> what so leads to too much back. Schnapside. 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 Okay, so it's schnapps, an idea, which so, means you have a stupid idea. Yeah. It's schnapps the kind of idea you have when you're not drunk, but it's you think, okay. okay, were you drunk when you had that idea? <laughs> kind, kind of the best ideas. Yes, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> definitely, always. <laughs> Meanwhile, next door in France, the French are coming up with words to enlighten the art of lovemaking. Ah, la petite mort. Ah, la petite mort. A small I death. When you orgasm, you might black out like for a few moments. Like, like, and then, oh, you're back. And that was kind of a small death. Man, how do you do the orgasm thing? <laughs> Well, uh, it has to do with the fingers and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, you should sure. give orgasm some time. Maybe. I should think about it. <laughs> Speaking of love, let's swing down to the South Pacific and check in with our friends in the Philippines. Kilig. Kilig, hey. Yeah, it, it's so hard to translate Kilig. And you go, hee, you know. Oh, I literally have no English chant. Like, I can't even put it into a sentence. It's like, <gasps> you know, like you see somebody so sweet to another person. Oh, that's goals, you know? <laughs> that's relationship goals. And 
you just feel the rush of romantic emotion. You're like, ah, you know, that's killing. Oh. You feel very giddy about it. Sometimes in love, things are not so clear. In South India, they have a word for just that. Yeah, oodle. Oodle. Uh, oodle. Oodle is, uh, oh. Hmm. Like let's say you have a breakup and you you still love the person, but it's a bittersweet feeling. Like it's a complicated on Facebook. Koi no no yoka. Koi no yoka. Oh, so you don't have this in English. The you know, feeling, like assuming that the person probably loves you, probably even before you know it, for probably. sure. Probably. I'm not sure, but maybe. In Brazil, you need a special word just to get things done. Jay cheese when you, I don't know, when you yeah. try to handle something, you try to find a way to do it? Yeah, as a jeitinho brasileiro. It's uh -huh. like you, uh, the rules and mm, go through, through the rules to make something happen magically. Sometimes you break some rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't get it done yourself, you might need bakshish. Bakshish, bakshish tips. Bakshish. Uh, tips is very Yes. It also has a negative connotation in terms of if you want to get something done, you have to give bakshish. Yeah. It's more like a that is it? a bribe. Bribe, yeah. bribe, bribe, yeah. Like cops, when they take bribe from you, because they don't want to call it bribe, they say bakshish. bakshish. Yeah. 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 If neither of those things work, you have to pray. What does uh, inshallah mean? It means like if God if God wants this to be, so it will it will happen. If there's one word God does not want you to know, it's this one. Tartle. Oh. Tartle. Tartle. A fartle. <laughs> a shartle. A shartle. <laughs> what is a voila? Uh, voila. Oh. That's, it's like the dot at the end of the sentence. Voila. voila. It always works. That's it, you know? That's a. Uh, voila. It ends up the conversation. Like. Voila. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Voila. Oh, voila. 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 Oh, oh, oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those were YouTubers translating untranslatable words. Hopefully you had as much fun as we did shooting that. If you have any untranslatable words of your own in your own language, make sure to throw them down there in the comment section. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to Vagabrothers, Brothers, turn on notifications if you've not already, and make sure that you go Follow the people down below uh, in the info box. You'll find all the channels who are on this video. They're awesome. Thank you all for participating. And thanks to the YouTube space New York for making this all possible. In the meantime, remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you on the road. Peace. Chalo. Agur. Voila. Ciao.